Welcome to the latest edition of Paramotor Tech Talk. Today we're going to actually cover some of the frequently asked questions, actually two items. They are simple but important. The first item is how to install your tachometer on your brand new unit. And the second is how to adjust your idle or your uh, throttle when you first get your unit. Here at Aviators, we basically use a hardline uh, tachometer. It's a dual tachometer that actually uh, record your hours as well as your RPM. I'm not a very big fan of uh, gauges in your paramotor because it's kind of a free fly, liberty of flying, but tachometers are very important. The important thing is, it's not only you know the age of your motor, but it also helps you during the braking process. Uh, simply what we're gonna be using is the gauge, it's the dual gauge and the wire. And here I'm gonna explain how to actually install it. Very simple. For today's project, we're gonna be using basically just a wire cutter, few tie wraps, the wire and the meter that's actually included in your uh, kit. The way the tachometer basically works is measure your electromagnetic pulses on your wire, on your spark plug wire. So you have a pickup wire that's actually wrapped around the spark plug wire and the other end goes to your meter and your meter actually measures your RPMs. I also measure, obviously, uh, it's a hot meter, so you measure how, how long the units have been running for. Again, the two main components of this particular installation is your meter and your pickup wire. Your pickup wire simply wrap around your spark plug wire and your meter, uh, you can actually install it anywhere you want. One of the choices, or my preferred choices, is right on the airframe. You can also do it on your strap, on your harness strap, it could be uncomfortable for some people, especially if you have flotation devices. And I've seen people actually sell it all the way down to your throttle. The reason is that is important is because it determines how much pickup wire you're gonna be using. So you can start winding it up here first, and before you cut any kind of length of the wires, you can actually install your second um, portion of it, which is your meter, and then route your wire and determine how much wire do you need. So let's begin. There are several ways that I've seen this installation actually perform in these particular engines. Sometimes they take the lead wire over here and they put it underneath the boot and then they wrap it around. And sometimes they just wrap it around anywhere within this wire. There's constant current pulsating through this to actually uh, fire your spark plug. And that's just exactly what this cable is reading. I like a little bit more of a clean installation. So I basically grab my wire about six inches out or so and I start winding it. And as I wind it, I get a little bit tighter every time. There is no right or wrong way as far as how many winds you need on these. The factory uh, hardening actually recommends to actually put a tie wrap right in here. However, I like a little bit of a cleaner uh, installation just because of the vibration. So what I usually do, I continue on and I put a tie wrap right at the end. I rearrange my wire. Put the tire up in the other end. To make it look like so. Cut your tire up. This is how it's supposed to look like. Now you can actually route your wire to the meter. On this particular installation, I would like to actually install this meter right on the airframe. All right, so you really don't need that much cable. So it's actually pretty close to your reading. So this is about as much cable as you really need. So the first thing I like to do, I like to temporarily install part of my meter. Okay. In this particular meter, you have a hole in one side and a half hole in the other side. So what you wanna do, you wanna feed the cable through the half hole or to the full hole. Turn 180 degrees. 
through the half hole. And that's it. Now you're ready for the second tie wrap. And that's how you actually install the tachometer and the paddle motor. It's very simple, but it's one of my frequently asked questions. So I figure I actually uh, get a video together so I can show how simple it is and everybody can do it. Another one of the most common asked questions is actually, you get your paddle motor, you're excited to go fly it, now what? Some people actually started, try to start doing the braking and they have some funky things happening to them. And this is something very common. They say my engine won't idle or my throttle is too tight and they don't know how to actually adjust it. So in this particular video, we're gonna actually remove the airbox and I'm gonna show you actually how to adjust the tension in your throttle and how to adjust your idle speed. For today's project, basically we need two basic tools. We need a seven millimeter socket so we can actually remove and reinstall the airbox and an eight millimeter uh, wrench so we can actually adjust the tension screw. Some pilot reports that as they move their throttle around, they have a variation of RPM. That's caused by too much tension on the wire. In order to resolve that, we just loosen up the tension of the wire and see here's how. Remove the air box to gain access to the adjustment screw. Find your adjustment screw. You can loosen up that nut. The second nut basically is the set setup. And what you wanna do is you wanna shorten the distance to actually adjust the tension if you want it a little looser, okay? so. You tie the knot in the back as you adjust then the knot in the front and just retie it. That's it. In this particular throttle, we're running the aviator made throttle. So you can also adjust the uh, throttle tension by adjusting these stops over here. When you had the ma factory throttle from uh, Vitorasi or from Powerjet or Fly products, you're actually gonna have an end that have no adjustment. That's why they have this particular set screw over here to actually adjust your tension. And one final tip is adjusting your idle. When you're trying to run it and break it in, sometimes the idle varies and you wanna adjust it to proper RPMs. Just simply use a small screwdriver, and this is your set screw and the stop for your throttle lever. And basically what you do is you wanna adjust your idle you have to screw this uh, bolt right in, so it will move this way. If the idle is too high, you want to actually retract or loosen up the bolt so it goes the other way. I hope you find this tip useful. If you have any other questions or like to see any other videos made, please drop us a line and we'll be happy to make one.